With Yellowstone National Park opening again today, one of the most popular features inside the park last season is once again accessible. Steamboat Geyser reawakened last spring after remaining nearly dormant for the past 15 years. MTN's John Shearer checked out the world's largest active geyser to see what's happening this spring. All winter long, only a few over-the-snow vehicle visitors have been able to come in and take a look at Steamboat. But that doesn't mean that the geyser has been sleeping. Far from it. Since the park closed in November, Steamboat has been going off about every seven or eight days. Steamboat had eruptions on March 4th. That's that spike right here. March 11th seemed to be a more impressive eruption, quite a nice spike. March 17th, another good spike. And finally, this one right here on March 25th. After that, Steamboat waited 14 days before going off again. That was its longest break since last August. Park rangers tell us lots of people plan to make Steamboat their first stop in the park this season. Yes, I've seen it, but just as it is now. Just, just like teasing. <laughs> in 2018, Steamboat had 32 major eruptions, the most since records have been kept. There are 12 eruptions so far this year. If Steamboat keeps that rate up, it would blow by last year's record with 44 major eruptions for 2019. But geologists are quick to note that Steamboat is totally unpredictable and could stop at any time. In fact, a steady uplift of the ground in the Norris Geyser Basin, where Steamboat is located, is suddenly slowing down. But since about October or so, there's been very little change in the deformation of Norris. In fact, that uplift seems to have paused over the last few months. So what Dr. Poland seems to be saying is that sooner is probably better than later if you want to see one of Steamboat's rare water eruptions. I know last year I was able to drop by oh, about 10 times or so and never did manage to see one of those big water eruptions that shoot 300 feet in the air, though I was lucky enough to catch one of the steam eruptions. Good luck if you're heading down here this season. At Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. All right, time to check out.